Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a, going to be a very quick video on how we can export trade edX levels to our chart. That way we can read everything in TradingView as opposed to having to look at TradeEdX website for things like gamma levels, delta levels, dark pool levels, whatever it might be. So on my TradingView chart, I have Apple up on the 30 minute chart and I recommend that whatever time frame you choose here, you also want to choose within trade, TradeEdX. And so if we pull up TradeEdX and we go to the ticker dashboard and we choose stocks, from here, we can search whatever ticker that we're interested in. And as I saw on my chart before, I was choosing Apple. And so I'm just going to set this to the 30 minute chart. Now, we have a lot of options here. We can choose support resistance levels, Greek levels, dark pool levels, trend lines. Uh, there's there's a whole bunch of stuff that we can show here. So in this case, I'm going to choose I'm going to go ahead and choose SpotX and I'm going to put all of those on my chart. And just as a bonus, I'm going to choose some daily and weekly dark pool levels. So now what I want to do is click on Greek levels and go to trading view export. And you can do this from any of the buttons really, but we want to choose trading view export guide guide, because this is going to give us the code that we need to put into trading view. So I'm just going to copy that out. And then down here, I'm going to click pine editor and I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. And once you paste this in your pine editor, make sure you name this. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it trade edX levels, save that. Now, once you save that, you can actually go into your indicators list. And if you go to my scripts on here, we can see right here, I have trade edX levels. So if I click that, it's going to pop up. Now there's nothing in there and you're going to see a red exclamation point next to it showing a study area error and that's because we haven't put any data in here yet and we can see there's color coding for these levels so now the next step is if we go to greek levels or again any of the levels and we say copy to trading view it's going to give us this code this input code that we we want to pop in right here so i'm going to take that paste it right there hit ok and boom you can see all the levels pop up so you can see that the red and green levels are my SpotX levels, if we just double check the chart, we can confirm that it all looks good there. And then if we, if we look at the white lines, the white and gray lines that we have here, we can see that those all line up with the dark pool levels. Now in this case, Apple was somewhat respecting the dark pool levels, but it does actually look like the SpotX levels were more important. And if, if you watched my last video that I just released on SpotX, you'll know that green lines represent buying pressure from the market maker perspective and red lines represent selling pressure from the market maker perspective when we're looking at spot x that's not the case for normal gamma exposure so that's really it this was just a super simple and short video on how to do this and i hope you found that helpful if so please drop a like and feel free to subscribe if you want to get notifications and check out other content on my channel thanks for watching